Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how to handle polyphony in SynthEdit. So far we have this little synth that we've been putting together over the past few videos. We set up a gate to make sure that every note doesn't continuously ring, but we can still press up to 6 keys simultaneously, which is the default. If you want to change the number of notes that can sound at one time, you need to change the polyphony. For example, some bass instruments only allow one note at a time. In SynthEdit, we can handle this with the MIDI to CV module. In the main container, right click on the MIDI to CV module and go to Properties. Down here, we have the polyphony parameter. Set this to 3. And now we can only play 3 note chords. If you press a 4th key down, it will mute the earliest pressed key. For example, if I play the root note and the third above it, then the fifth above that, we've reached the maximum numbers of simultaneous notes. If I play one octave above the root, the root will be cut off since it was the first note played. If I keep going up, eventually we can't hear the lower notes at all. Below the polyphony parameter in the MIDI to CV properties window is the parameter polyphony reserve, which is set to 3. In the last example, when I pressed a fourth key, the first note was silenced. SynthEdit is strict about the number of voices that are being used, so when that first note is cut off, the fourth note cannot begin sounding until the first note has completely been silenced. This doesn't take long, a matter of milliseconds, but it does have a noticeable effect. The polyphony reserve is basically a spare set of voices that are available to sound. That way, when you press that fourth key, the note will sound immediately, while the first note will still have the ability to fade naturally. The number refers to the number of spare voices available, so if you were making a monophonic bass plugin, for example, you wouldn't need to have more than one spare voice. However, you may need more depending on the playing style of the instrument, like with a piano. Below that is the polyphony mode, which refers to the way that a note is silenced when you exceed the polyphony. Each of the options are pretty self-explanatory. So now you should be able to control the polyphony in your plugins. Thanks for watching.